Education and ethics reforms will be front and center soon as Missouri state leaders come together tomorrow to kick off the start of the General Assembly. Big changes could be on the way. And new at 6, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains how Democrats and Republicans are getting set for the showdown. This year, the culture of politicians is under fire. Ethics reform is in the spotlight for the Missouri General Assembly, months after two state lawmakers resigned. One for having a relationship with a young intern, the other for sexual harassment allegations. Mark Anthony Jones is the chair of the Jackson County Republican Committee. He says gifts from lobbyists will be high on the agenda. The lobbyists in Jeff City are living at the Capitol. I mean, every day these people are at the Capitol talking to your legislators, and you're not. But Representative Jeremy LaFavor, a Democrat, says he hopes a proposal for caps on campaign contributions gets passed. Unless we deal with campaign contribution limits, any ethics reform is really just a facade. Aside from ethics reform, abortion will also be in the spotlight this year with the General Assembly, specifically funding for Planned Parenthood facilities like the one you see behind me here in KCMO. Republicans control the House and Senate, and this year they're hoping to strip away public funding of Planned Parenthood. There are a lot of other options for women's, women's health. No one is saying that we shouldn't take care of women's health, but Planned Parenthood is, uh, is a controversial company, and um, a lot of Republicans feel like it shouldn't be supported. Funding for road projects and voter ID cards will be discussed as well, but Representative LaFavor says the elections in November might get in the way. It's a year when uh, there will be a lot more rhetoric and a lot more talk than there will be action. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.